Here we go. So another problem, another different problem, right? But basically, like to evaluate this limit, we're gonna plug in negative four, then you can easily find it is zero over zero form, which is indeterminate form, right? And like, you know, whenever you encounter indeterminate form now, like it is really tempted to cancel out x plus four top and bottom, right? But you can't because we have absolute value, okay? So like whenever you have absolute value, you have to be careful about it, okay? So let me give you the real definition of absolute value, okay, here. Absolute value of x is two case, x or negative x, right? When x is positive or equal to zero, it is just x. When x is negative, it is negative, okay? But wait a minute, it's a little bit awkward, right? Because again, as you know, like in you know, absolute value always give you positive, but it looks like negative. But keep that in mind, this is not the negative because your x itself is already negative. Negative number times another negative is positive. So this is the positive. Actually, this is a way to make your negative number as positive number. Does it make sense? Okay, so for example, think about absolute value of negative two. You know the answer, right? It is two, right? But mathematically, we are not gonna answer by two directly, okay? But mathematically, we will do like this way which is two. So this is the way to make your negative value into positive, okay? Don't forget this one. We have to use this one as long as your inside of absolute value is negative. Does it make sense? Okay, let me come back here. So look at the first problem. When you plug in negative four, it's exactly zero over zero form, but, okay, so I would like to talk about this part. Let me do my best again, okay? This part. Okay? So, like, look at the inside of absolute value, which is x plus four. What about that? Do you think x plus four is positive or negative? Then to evaluate that sign of like that part, you have to go back to limit notation, okay? X goes to negative four left-hand side, right? I'm talking about this situation. Negative four is here, approaching from left-hand side, right? Which means your x is less than negative four. For example, just imagine just a couple of numbers, okay? Maybe like negative 4.1, does it make sense, okay? Negative 4.1 is definitely on the left-hand side of negative four. When you plug in negative 4.1 here, then Negative 4.1 plus 4 is small negative. It must be negative. Does it make sense? So we know this guy is negative. Oh, the inside of absolute value is negative. Then you must have negative x when you take up your absolute value. So this guy is equal to absolute, no, no. Negative of x plus 4. Does it make sense? So now we can rewrite uh, your limit problem, okay? It is equal to limit x goes to negative 4 minus, then it is negative of x plus 4 over. Now, since we do not have any absolute value notation, then we can cancel out. So your answer is negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Is that okay? So we're gonna apply this idea for next problem, okay? So now we're gonna concentrate about like this part again, x plus four, okay? What about the sign of x plus four? Is that positive or negative? Tell me. It is the same thing, okay? X goes to negative four from the right-hand side, okay? So let me try to help you turn this this guy, okay? Negative four is here and approaching from right-hand side, which means your x is bigger than negative four. Just imagine any number which is bigger than negative four. For example, negative 3.9, it must be here, okay? When you plug in negative 3.9 here, negative, point, negative 3.9 plus four is small positive. As long as your, your x is on this side, x plus four must be positive. Does it make sense? In other words, with absolute value, without absolute value, doesn't matter, okay? So I can say your x plus four is equal to 
just x plus 4. Is that clear? Okay. Now, let me rewrite my problem, okay? Limit x equals to negative 4 from the right-hand side. It can be written by just x plus 4 without absolute sign because that is positive, okay? Now, we can cancel these guys. Then the answer is 1 over 1, which is 1. That's it, okay? But what do we see? Well, again, I found the left limit and I found the right-hand limit, right? Then my limit is, since they are not equal to each other, right? Since they are not equal to each other, my answer for C is automatically does not 